Good morning, everybody. I'm really, really pleased to see so many people in this room. It's fantastic to see you all here. Thank you very much for joining us. And a very, very warm welcome to Makeshift, uh, the Cross Council's uh, conference. Um, it seems to me that being in Manchester is absolutely the right place to have this sort of conversation because, of course, uh, craft and making has been so important to the heritage of, of Manchester over the last 200 years and continues to be important. And, and that, of course, is what we're going to focus on today, that role of craft and making within technology and innovation. The Crafts Council is the national agency for promotion of craft. We care passionately about craft and its ability to transform lives. The urge to make is a human in, um, in, information. It, craft enables us to think, learn and create through the act of making. Engaging head, hand and heart, the power of making has an incredible capacity and important impact on society. It provides a connection to the physical world. It provides a connection between all of us. It promotes well-being and a sense of self-esteem. Ten years ago, craft was a hidden but rather unpolished gem, I think. And since then, there's been this incredible rising interest in making. The reappreciation of skill and materiality has resulted in a surging uh, popularity of making, whether it's on our TV screens or in the t on the high street, through the resurgence of artisan making and, of course, to the cutting-edge work that we're going to be talking about here today. At the Crafts Council, our role is to support and nurture that craft. And we do this with partners across the country and internationally in three different ways. We create inspiring and challenging experiences for the audiences through our exhibitions and our, our participation projects. We support makers in their businesses through professional and market development opportunities. And indeed, innovators like Tom Dixon, the designer, and Thomas Heatherwick were recipients of support from the Crafts Council at a very early stage in their career. And you can see, therefore, this slow burn, this really important route into uh, craft and through craft is so important in terms of innovation. And thirdly, but absolutely not least, championing craft education. It is crucial that we ensure that children and young people have the opportunity to make and to develop that potential passion that can lead to an amazing career in making. Because craft has a very, very bright future, I believe. And one way in which that is apparent is in which, in which the value of craft skills can be seen in other industries. If you think about the Duchess of Cambridge's wedding dress, what was so fantastic about that was, this, was the needlework done by the Royal School of Needlework. The Harry Potter goblets that appeared in all the, um, all the films were made by glass artists in, in Cornwall. So there's this fantastic spillover of craft into these other industries. And in particular, we've been focusing on the importance of how craft can contribute to innovation and technology. And this is something we've been doing for a few years. And we've done it in a number of ways. We've had a number of conferences, and some of you perhaps have been to those earlier um, conversations that we've had over the last four, five years. We've produced research reports. The first, Crafting Capital, which was published in 2011, was launched at the House of Commons uh, to great interest. And the more recently, our second report, Innovation Through Craft Routes to Growth, which was commissioned from KPMG, was launched earlier this year. Our touring exhibitions, Lab Craft, was one of the first ones we looked at the whole uh, relationship between craft and digital technology, which toured around the country. And of course, The Power of Making, the most fantastic exhibition at the V&A, um, curated by Daniel Charney, of course, who's going to be speaking over the next couple of days, profiled craft in this context. A series of salons and seminars have been taking place with higher education institutions in places like Central St. Martins and Nottingham Trent. And we've delivered projects bringing makers together with digital technologists in partnership with Watershed and Pervasive Media and makers with medical academics with guys in St. Thomas's and the Cultural Institute at King's College London. We want to shine a light on the potential of craft to make that significant contribution that it can do to innovation. To turn those happy accidents into strategic interventions. One of the recommendations of our report that we launched this year, Innovation Through Craft, 
was how to create the conditions for future collaboration. We need to bring makers, educationists, technologists, scientists together in one single place to, to have that opportunity to engage, to network, to talk. And that is why conferences like this are so important, because it's bringing everybody into that single room to exchange and knowledge and understanding, to have that conversation. And we have the most fantastic range of speakers here over the next two days, and in, indeed an incredible audience. So I do think that you're going to have a stimulating and fantastic two days. Please do enjoy, talk to each other, go away, take cards, develop those projects which will enable us to continue to promote craft and its contribution to science and technology. Thank you very much. Enjoy.